Hey everybody, Keith Hilson with the Trombo Shop at Schmidt Music here with another video. One of the questions we get asked a lot is about mutes, cup mutes, straight mutes, and practice mutes. We know that there's all different kinds of designs of practice mutes out there, and we get a lot of questions. I've heard this about this mute, I've heard that about that mute. What do you think? What's going on? So I thought I'd do a quick video so that you can at least get a little bit of an experience with these mutes here. So when I'm thinking about a good practice mute, there's a few different things I'm paying attention to right away. First off, obviously, is volume. We want to be bringing the volume down soft enough so that we can practice in a wide variety of situ situations. Now, the problem with that, if we're trying to attenuate the volume that much, that means we're going to have to be stopping up a lot of air from escaping the valve. That means we're going to be adding resistance. So how much or how little resistance does the mute add to our playing. You know, depending on the mute, sometimes we find you know mutes that are really free blowing, maybe they're a little bit loud, other mutes that are really quiet but very, very stuffy, which is going to change our overall experience and going to make practicing different for us. Um, along with the resistance, we get intonation issues. Again, it's always that balance there. Hopefully, we're going to find a practice mute that doesn't cause too much of a squashing of the intonation. Um, with some practice mutes, we tend to find that the upper range starts to go very, very flat. The lower register starts to become very, very sharp. So we're always thinking about that. And then finally, we're thinking about lightness, portability, right? We can see even in here, these four mutes, there's a variety of different sizes, different weights. How does it feel in the bell? Some mutes tend to be a little bit more front heavy. Um, others have the advantage of being able to fit inside your bell inside of a case. So a number of different criteria to think about with these. Today I'm going to take a play for you on four of the more popular practice mutes we see out there. The Protech Liberty practice mute, the Dennis Wick practice mute, the Sh mute, and the Yamaha Silent Brass. So obviously you're not going to be able to tell everything as far as how this is going to respond for you, how it's going to work for your horn, the weight, all of that. But Hopefully it'll give you a little bit of an idea, at least about the volume that you may get out of these and the some of the intonation as well. So I'm going to be playing all of these today on a Canstel uh, 1570 large board tanner with a Bach 4G mouthpiece. <laughs> So hopefully that gives you just a little idea about all of these mutes, at least a starting point for you. I can certainly tell you that having compared all four of these back to back, um, I found the sh mute the most free blowing uh, with the least amount of resistance. Um, but I also found the uh, Yamaha and the Dennis Wick to be very smooth and even playing in terms of their response. And um, of course, the lightness and the portability of the uh, Protec is also an advantage. So, what's the right fit for you? Hopefully you have a chance to find out here. Um, let us know below in the comments what your favorite practice mute is, what your experience has been with these. And if you have any questions, of course, you can contact us at the Trombone Shop. Uh, Trombone Shop at SchmidtMusic.com. You can find all the information below. Um, if you like the video, think about giving us a thumbs up. We always like to get feedback on this. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please think about doing that as well. We're always putting out new content. And as always, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. So thanks for watching, everybody.